um, when I first started making my own content, it was about being genuine, about being who I am. And um, essentially, the one that blew up the most was of me, you know, saying, you know what, if I have money, I'm going to spend it. You know, I've been broke before. I'm not going to die. I want to be happy. Essentially yeah. putting the whole, you know, that's that's what truly really got um, me blowing up. Yeah. So when I was doing the content initially, I was broke. I was pretty broke. And it's not, it was a, it was a good time in my life. Yeah, I was happy, but I was broke. I was happy, but I was broke. Yeah. And um, while I was making that content and I shifted um, into the new me, um, at some time I was really lost because it was a new life. I had an experience and wow. I needed to take some time to myself mm -hmm. to bring myself up to it. So it was because, you know, everything just from doing things in my bedroom and then like you're saying like Fenty, Fenty comes and says, oh, we have to do this thing. And then uh, Valentina says, we have to do this thing. You know, brands that you see on TV. Wow. Just every day. And then I didn't have a lot of time to like process it. So I just... So it happened quick. <clears throat> It happened really quick. When you feel like those brands came, the the Valentinos, the Fenty, the Mac, the, the all the, do you feel like I'm ready for this or did you do it scared? Oh, I said I said I have no choice because they were that. <laughs> <laughs> they like, were that. Either stay broke or take the opportunity. <laughs> You're either gonna stay broke or take the opportunity. And even if I was like, even if I wasn't ready, how many more times will this chances come? Wow, wow, wow. And you know, um, even um like the people who would follow me every single day, I would sit down and check everyone who's followed me that day. So I see if there's someone who can help me. That's something else. I think people are very important taking you to the next step. So I see if there's someone who's who will help me like diversify my circle. And I really just like pull those little moves and they all like came to blend together to raise me up, raise me up, raise me up. That's and a I'm chess still, mind. Like, yeah, I'm still doing them little moves to... Raise me up one step at a time. I believe in baby steps. So the people that you said you reached out to to diversify your audience, were you DMing them? Mm-hmm. So y'all see, y'all hear this? She was not waiting for anything to fall into her lap. She was messaging DMing people. DMing them. And you know, also when people, I think when people go viral, you know, for the when you're going viral for the first time and... Also, it was it was kind of happening to me, but my brother brought me back to reality. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you know, look at me. I'm famous. And he was like, you're not that girl. I'm going to tell you something right now. <laughs> One video blew up. Relax. <laughs> I know that's what most people do, right? A video blows up and it goes. So people aren't like, they don't feel like they need to... Um, we out to other people because they feel like they're so hot. They're the popping. Yeah. yeah, they're so popping in the moment. But things like those are so fleeting. Yeah. And I knew that I couldn't hold people to my to the same thing forever. Yeah. So I came up with a plan and that was my plan. Wow. At such a young age. I am so proud of you. I hated school. You, was, that was I, such a big motivation. I heard you say that in an interview. You were like, I hated school. I didn't want to go back. What was your major? I did journalism. Okay. Like, okay. I did something so easy and still I didn't like it. Still failing. I did, I did art. Maybe I had Fs. I did, yeah. Art class, please. Somebody pass me. Give me a degree. Journalism. Mm. But you really didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Did, did you um, go to college? I went to cosmetology school. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I literally was going to college. I got accepted. I was about to go to a HBCU. Mm -hmm. And the day I was supposed to go, my grandmother was about to take me to college. I sat her down and I was like, I don't want to go. Last minute. And she was like, hold on now. <laughs> now you about to get slapped in this house. I believe in the Lord, but you about to piss me off. She said, so what the hell you want to do? My granny don't cuss. She ain't never cussed at me, but she said, what you want to do, bitch? That's kind of how her tone was, but mm -hmm. she didn't say it like that. She said, okay, what do you want to do? I said, I want to go to cosmetology school. So she was like, I will pay for you to go to cosmetology school. You get your license. And soon as you do that, I believe in you, get a job. And she put me through cosmetology school and I just started doing hair because I had been doing hair for years in her house. So I didn't go to college. Oh my goodness. I love that she supported you. Yeah. That is so amazing. Yeah. I had my family support like all, all the way around. Yeah. Wow. Did you? Because I saw in an interview that your brother was like, you're embarrassing the family with your videos and you being African. Mm -hmm. I, I know African households and the culture can be very strict. You're either a doctor, a lawyer, get your education. I don't know nothing about no Instagram. I don't know nothing about no lace. All up on the internet acting crazy. 
you know, so being yourself, being open, mm-hmm. that can be frowned upon in your culture. So how did, um, with your brother making that comment, you said your family had a meeting or something? I think that I read that oh, right. You had a family meeting about you. We had you. a family meeting. Wow. Oh, God, I remember that day so vividly. <laughs> yeah. We had a family meeting. And you know, our dining table, it's because there's six of us, so it's perfect. So it's six chairs. And my sister wasn't there. Um, she was in Tunisia at that time. Wow. So only one, I remember that only that one seat was missing. And they all sat down and they said, um, uh, at first I thought we were having like a general <laughs> meeting. Like, oh, is this like about the digital side of things? Like, <laughs> I thought they was going to tell me how, how good I looked in my last video. Yeah. <laughs> So they sent me down, they're like, oh, yeah, we keep getting sent this video. It's like, how can you embarrass the family? Oh, my. My brother started shouting. He was like, you know, not shouting, um, but he was like, you know, it's so embarrassing. Like, you need to know the difference when people are laughing with you and laughing at you. (gasps) Wow. Yeah. So I was really sad. I cried for a week. After that, I got off my phone. But how did that conversation go? When they're saying this, did you try to defend yourself? Did you just listen? Are you living in your parents' house at this time? Oh, no. No. So you weren't even living with them? Uh, no, oh, no, then I was. Then, then I was. at that time. I was. So were I you was. like, I just have to close my mouth and accept this because I live here? Or did you say, no, let me explain. This is who I am. This is my per-. Were you trying to combat it? Or did you just say, okay? I did combat it. One thing I will give my parents credit for is that, for, because my parents, I'm not going to lie, my parents were very strict. They're very strict. But they always, we always discussed things. There wasn't okay. like a final say or a final stand. They just, they brought it down very harshly. Okay. So even in defending myself, you know, I was crying. And they also, there were also, it was also like um, four against one. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> Where, where's the sister at? Where she would have been on your side. My sister, oh God. <laughs> yeah, so they were all, it was all of them against, kind of against me. And it ended with them saying, oh, if you really want to do this thing, you know, you should shift your content. You know, like it's still embarrassing. And they wanted me to, because, you know, I was all very, I was very natural. Yeah. You know? Yeah. My hair, my hair up, I just. Braids. Braids. A little straight, but you had them CeeLo, bra- uh, Cleo, CeeLo. Mm-hmm. Not CeeLo, Cleo braids from Set It Off. Yeah, it yeah. in my chips, yeah. just in my bed. Yeah. And they're like, you know, you're going to have to make more refined content. Like, put put some makeup on you. <laughs> you know, it's not going to kill you. <laughs> and so they started telling me to do that. And a week after, because I completely went off my phone. And then a week after, and I logged back into my phone, my content had blown up all over the internet. The, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. You got that sign from God. Like, this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, exactly mm. how I'm doing it. And I think that's what makes you so relatable. You weren't all done up. You weren't all made up. You were just this girl in her room telling the truth, being confident. I want this. Talking about money. I know I'm broke now. I ain't never... I'm, I know I'm about to be rich. I'm about to be famous. You were just exuded so much confidence in your videos. Was that confidence real in the moment or were you kind of manifesting it because that's the girl you want it to be? Inside, were you insecure? I'm actually very, I'm a very shy person. I'm, okay. I'm really, really, really shy. Okay. But even in like shy, I know what I want and okay. what I don't want. A lot of the things I didn't want, just to be broke, I really didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I know one thing. I don't know about this mama, this daddy, this dinner table. What I do know is I don't want to be broke. I don't want Sitting here struggling with everybody. So I am the meal ticket out. Let me make this content. <laughs> so I got on it and yeah, I kept saying, you know, also like my mom always said, the power of the tongue, the power of the tongue, your tongue is so important. So she used to say, whatever you say, God is listening and he will give it to you. That's biblical. That's in the Mm -hmm. Bible. Mm -hmm. So I believe that. I believe when you say something, like God will make it come true. If you say it enough times, God will make it. So even sometimes I do not walk towards a goal and I just say, God, please, I really, really want this. I really, really want this. Yeah. You know, like you're asking... (laughs) <laughs> I don't know, someone, your dad, for something, I don't know, your mom yeah. when you're a kid. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But have you, but even you, you, um, you, when I used to see your content, you yeah. know, when I was younger, it was also like very, you were, I would always see, I would be like, oh my goodness, she's so confident. And, Girl, stop. But the difference between me and you is you looks really good. I, mean, I was just, I, I was looking quite, you know. Not in all my videos though. 
Oh, not not in all the videos, but you know, I would just the f- I remember the first video I ever saw of you. Wow, it was of you in that on the ship, uh, the on the ship. It was of you yelling over, yelling over. Wow, I said, oh my god, I'm in love with this girl. <laughs> <laughs> we have to find that. That was when I was on girl cruise. Man is single. Please come fill out an application. Is that your man? Is that your man, ma'am? Does he have a brother? Please. Please, does he have a brother? Where the tree dad niggas at? Cause I ain't found a man. You got two brothers? Tell him to come on this boat. Trinidad, please, I'm single and I can cook. Kinda a little bit. She lying. We can hire a chef, please, Trinidad. Oh, you single? You single? Come here, baby daddy. Please, this ain't better come. Anybody that's sing- at the, the end of the boat, okay. are y'all single? That's your man? Okay, never mind, I cannot fight. Okay, down this way. All right, I'm coming down for you, sir. Baby boy, I got a man. <laughs> wow, that is so dope. I love that bit. I laughed so many times that night. Wow. It's still saved on my Instagram to this day. Wow. So on Instagram for the first time. <laughs> so made me cry, little Gen Zer. <laughs> I feel like I'm an inspiration or something. Oh my god! Yeah. Well, girl, you the one getting all the big brand deal. You a model, model. Now I'm just a little ghetto model. Now <laughs> look, and there ain't no Valentino calling me. I might get a little uh, a little Fubu, <laughs> a little Sean John. Uh, not no Sean John right now, but you know, um, Fenty, and you got all these big brand deals. So I really appreciate that. I think the thing we have in common is coming from social media and. Mm. In those moments of my viral content, talking about mm-hmm. boys, talking about F boys, talking about I want a boy, it was it was me. I didn't have to act. I didn't have a script. It's really who I was in that season, in that moment. So even looking back on my videos, I'm like, I was cussing so much or my ass was out. Or, I'm like, <laughs> you know what? I have to love that girl too. Mm. That's who I was in that season. And I've Mm. grown and evolved and matured from those videos. I'm still crazy. (laughs) But you know, I got a little bit of, a little more Holy Spirit in me, you know, right now. But I think not shaming who we were, like Mm -hmm. even the videos of you with your cornrows. That's why people people love you Mm -hmm. because you're so relatable. So, so, so relatable.